In this tutorial, I'll teach you how easy it is to split, cut, and trim your video clips to remove segments of a video from the beginning, middle, or end. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. So I've opened up Pinnacle Studio and have a few different video clips already on my timeline. The first thing I want to mention is that I am using overwrite mode to do my final editing, which is this downward arrow icon over here. I prefer to use this mode for splitting and trimming clips as it leaves everything on the timeline exactly where it was before and after splitting, so I can manually close gaps or adjust the media how I want to. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to split a clip. You might want to split a clip if you want to delete a large segment, or even if you want to put some other type of media or transition in between two segments. To do this, click on the clip that you want to split on your timeline. Then drag your playhead to the part of the clip that you want to split into two different segments. Now we can go up and click on the Split Clips icon. And now you'll see that our clip has been split into two separate parts. From here I can adjust the position of these clips on the timeline independently or put another clip in between them. Now let's say I want to cut out a few seconds in between this clip. I'll drag my playhead to where I want to make my second cut and once again click the Split Clips icon. Now I want to delete the clip in the middle. To do that, I'll click on the clip I want to delete. Then I can click on the Delete Selected Clips icon. Alternatively, I can right-click on the clip and then select Delete from the drop-down menu. From here, I can rearrange my media on the timeline however I like by clicking on the media and dragging it to where I want my clips positioned. Or I can also right-click on the timeline in a gap where I want to push together media and select Close Gap. One more important thing to note about the Split Clips icon is that if you only want to split a clip on one of your AV tracks, you have to make sure that your clip is selected first. If you don't have the clip selected and you press the Split Clips icon, it will split all the media where your playhead is on each track, and this could include titles and audio tracks. So just be aware of that when you're splitting clips. So now I want to talk about trimming clips. We use trimming when we want to remove segments from the beginning or end of our clips. This is really easy to do. Depending on whether you want to trim the beginning or end of the clip, you'll highlight your cursor over the edge of the clip that you want to trim until you see a line and an arrow icon pop up. Now you'll left click and drag in the direction that you want to trim your clip. You can do this to trim from both the beginning part of your clip and also the ending in the same way. Now let's say you have media on multiple tracks and want to trim on both tracks at once and preview what it looks like. To do this, first we'll drag the playhead over the clips that we want to trim. Then click on the Trim Mode icon. This will bring up the Trim Editor and here we can select which clip we want to trim by clicking on the box and the yellow border around it will indicate which clip is selected. I'm going to click on the right clip and I want to trim this so that between these two clips I can view the media that I have on AV Track 2. I'll hover over the clip with my mouse and again you'll see the line and arrow icon. Then I'm going to click and drag in the direction that I want to trim. Now as I do this, you'll see that the image on the left is changing as well to reflect the last frame before my new clip. And now we can see the media that I have on AV Track 2 just before my clip. I can also trim my selected clip by using these arrow buttons. I can click the outward arrows to trim my clip 10 frames forward or 10 frames backward, Or, if I want to be even more precise, I can select the inner arrows to trim one frame forward and one frame backward. Finally, I can click on the Loop Play button to preview what my new trimmed clips will look like before exiting the trim editor. 
and once you're happy with your trimming, just click on the timeline to exit the trim mode. And now you're ready to start editing and perfecting your videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.